The first ever video that Jared uploaded to YouTube was posted on March 13th, 2013, and was titled Nunchaku Dramatic Demonstration, which featured Jared making strange faces and flailing around with a pair of toy nunchaku to the song Schism by Tool. This video featured poor audio, martial arts, and several other things that would become hallmarks of Jared's future content. In his second video, posted the same day, titled Growling Redefined, Jared lays out a technique for growling, a type of vocal used in metal music. His technique is dubious at best, and we see here the first signs of misplaced confidence and ego. First of all, fuck anyone that says it takes years and years of practice. That, my friend, is stupid fucking bullshit. Okay? Don't let people like that discourage you. Sure, it, it takes a little bit for your uh, vocal cords to get used to it, but <laughs> it's not that difficult, man. It really isn't. I mean, think about it. You're just making a weird fucking noise with your vocal cords, okay? How is that going to take, like, five to ten years? It's retarded. Most of the video otherwise contains Jared making strange noises and repeating himself constantly. Check this out, man. <laughs> some water in my ice cream bucket <sighs> the description reads please don't be a little punk ass and say I look emo I'll flag your shit up my main emphasis was to describe the inhale growl since it isn't covered much but also cover the specifics of other styles this preemptive flagging threat would be the first of many, with Jared false flagging countless people over the years in an attempt to silence critics and lash out at his trolls. His third video was uploaded a month later on April 12th, 2013, titled RE colon Atheists are Stupid WJ Wrestler. This is Jared's first real rant video, the type of video which he would later become best known for. The video is short enough to play here in its entirety. Yeah, fuck atheists, man. Fuck you, Darwinist piece of shit, motherfuckers. Get the fuck out of my goddamn country, you cocksucking pieces of shit. Guess what, man? You know a guy named John Adams, the dude that fucking founded America? He said that non-religious people are not welcome here, motherfucker. Look it up, man. It's fucking direct quotations. Fuck you and all your goddamn World of Warcraft playing motherfucking bitch-ass friends. You're nothing but a scene, dude. You're a scene. You're not even a fucking belief system. You kiss my fucking Christian ass, you little slimy cunts. I don't give a fuck about any of you. You're a bunch of cowards. And none of you would have the balls to say the shit that you do to my face. You fucking weak-ass pansies, dude. Fuck with me, dude. Fuck with me. I'll fucking kill you, dude. I will beat your ass to the fucking ground. Alright? I will beat your motherfucking asses. And you think I'm a troll? Well, guess what, dude? I fucking am. I'm a fucking goddamn troll to people like you. I have respect for plenty of kinds of people, but not for atheists, not for fucking agnostics, and not for fucking Satanists, pieces of shit metalheads. Roar, roar, my father doesn't like me. Roar, roar, shut the fuck up with your fucking bullshit death metal. You little scrawny ass piece of shit motherfucker. You're a little fucking coward. You're afraid of emotion. You're afraid of fucking feelings. You're like a fucking emo kid to me. You fucking black wearing piece of shit. Fuck you, man. Fuck you, you little bitch. I'll fucking kill you, dude. I don't give a shit. 
I respect, dude, I respect people like this dude that are making fucking videos. And I don't respect fucking atheists, a fucking angry video game nerd, neither, dude. That guy's a slimy cunt that steals people's fucking money. So fuck all your mothers, dude. Peace. I'm fucking out of here. There we are, folks. Three videos into Jared's first channel, and he's already talking about killing people. Also, something very interesting to point out here is Jared identifying himself as a troll. Jared would continue to identify as a troll throughout the years. However, Jared would make a habit in the future of either avoiding identifying as a troll and criticizing his own trolls, or calling himself a troll while also identifying as an incel or a MGTOW or any number of other unscrupulous labels. Jared also brings up James Rolfe, the angry video game nerd, seemingly unprompted at the end of the video, and accuses him of stealing people's money. This vitriolic hatred of James Rolfe is a thread that would continue indefinitely into Jared's future, becoming another hallmark of his past, present, and future content. Seemingly invigorated by this rant video he had made, Jared would proceed to make many more immediately afterwards. The next video was titled Depression Sucks and was uploaded the next day on April 13th, 2013. <sighs> Fucking 10 years, man. 10. 10 goddamn years. I've struggled with depression, dude. And I'm not afraid to fucking admit it because I'm not a goddamn emo pussy that brings it on myself, okay? I have genetic depression. I've got anxiety disorder. I have fucking OCD. I have obsessive thought disorder. In other words, I'm a screwed up son of a bitch. And while I think society may have a lot to do with this, I know it would be wrong of me to blame it all on them. So I'm not gonna do that because I'm not an asshole, okay? Well, I am, but I'm not that shallow. But I will say that my life really fucking sucks and I hope that you guys that hate me are happy because every day I do wake up in fucking misery. I'm a depressed son of a bitch. I think a lot of it just has to do with fucking weird shit going on in the world. I'm a conspiracy theorist. I'm not as crazy as Alex Jones, but I'm probably close to it. I think that there's probably, like, something in the fucking air. I mean, look at fucking kids these days, man. Kids are crazy. Like, what is it, like, 50 or so percent of kids have ADD? Like, what the fuck is that? They're all a bunch of little munchkins on crack running around. It scares me, dude. I don't want to be a father. Dude, fuck that shit. Hey, you're crazy, kid. I don't want one. I don't want a girl popping out one of those for me to handle. Fuck that shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just fuck. Jared continues on for about 9 minutes about depression, mixing opinion with mistruth, all while describing his statements as scientific fact. Jared also mentions being constantly overstimulated, miserable, and having hyper depression. He also states that nobody cares about him and nobody sympathizes with him. He also describes himself as an anarchist, then immediately identifies anarchists as idiots by inaccurately summing up their positions, and then saying something monumentally stupid. Like, anarchists are stupid because they're like, they say they're anti-all authority. Well, what about fucking parents? I mean, are you anti-parents? They're like an authority. So think about that, dumb shits. Jared also randomly brings up his love for punk rock and mentions the Sex Pistols, who he seems to think are an obscure band. And I like punk rock too, don't get me wrong, I love fucking Sex Pistols. I know music that most people don't, so fuck you, man. Jared also mentions trying different antidepressants and claims that they fucked him up. He also mentions his sister and states that she had been on antidepressants in the past, for 10 years. He also insults her. But, um, look man, if you're depressed and you're struggling right now, I just want to say to all the other depressed people, don't give up, man, okay? There is always fucking hope. There's always something else you can do to possibly better yourself. There are a lot, a lot of different things that a depressed people can do therapy-wise. I mean, sometimes all a person needs is just somebody to talk to, man. That's all it is. Just fucking someone to talk to. Listen to them, man. So if you have a friend that's struggling with depression, just fucking listen to them, dude. There are also a lot of different antidepressants. It's not just one kind okay there's a lot of different kinds there's there's antidepressants called ssris um <laughs> i don't know a whole lot about this i'm just telling you different ones okay ssris they do something different okay in the brain because we all have different brains really different and so 
sometimes we need different fucking medications to help us in a different way. There's things called mood stabilizers. I think those are like uh, Paxil and um, Devolperex, which I have tried both of those, and they fucked me up hardcore, man. Those always make me anxious. I've tried over different uh, eight different antidepressants. They've all fucked me up one way or another. This shit's like heroin to me, man. I It's like fucking crazy. It really messes with my head, and I would seriously question what they put in those things, man. It's crazy, but uh, you don't need to stay on these the rest of your life. That's bullshit. You just stay on it until it fucking, you know, heals whatever malfunction is going in your brain. For how, it may take a few months, may take a little bit longer for some people. But you don't stay on it forever, man. That's that's twisted. Like, I got a sister who's been on Paxil for like fucking 10 years. And I can tell it's wholly messed with her. I mean, she's a fucking piece of shit atheist, dude. She's crazy. I don't know, man, but she's like, it's weird, dude medication can really mess with you you have to realize you're putting synthetic chemicals in your body i mean i don't think that's ever really a good thing man that's not what god intended you're supposed to take natural and and you know there's a lot of natural antidepressant medications too i'm running out of time but uh fucking st john's word uh 5h 5htp i believe it's called um and fucking i think there's one more but look guys I'm almost out of time, so, uh, fucking, I'm just trying to be real here, because I know I look like an asshole in some of my other videos, but I'm really trying my best to fucking keep it real here with you people, so, um, fucking like me or hate me, I don't give a shit. Peace, man. <laughs> On the same day, Jared uploaded the same video accidentally twice, which was titled, Fuck Facebook, in which he rants obnoxiously about Facebook users. I hate Facebook, man. I call it fucking fake book because it's fake. I hate it. I hate it like wiping my ass with fucking sandpaper, man. I hate it like masturbating with a fucking electric eel's tentacle. That's how badly I hate Facebook. It sucks. It sucks ass. And it's boring, man. The people on Facebook. Oh, I made a sandwich. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Fuck you. You fake piece of shit. <laughs> God damn. It's bullshit. And it makes... It's laughable. It really is, man. I mean, good lord. Don't you know how to communicate outside of your fucking computer? Outside of your little gadgets? Your little... Uh, 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 you fucking piece of shit. You, you're a pussy if you, like, fucking live on Facebook. It's stupid, man. I mean, fuck. The video quickly devolves into multiple disconnected tangents that go absolutely nowhere and loop back upon themselves several times, such as Mark Zuckerberg being part of the Illuminati, a hermaphroditic New World Order, and illustrated penises being snuck into children's cartoons as part of some nefarious hidden agenda. These types of absurd conspiracy theories will become mainstays of Jared's content. Ironically, in the video, Jared berates users of Facebook and claims that they live online instead of in the real world. He also calls them cowards who can't talk to other people without a computer as an intermediary. Later on, it will become widely known that after graduating high school, Jared himself spent all of his time on his computer, rarely leaving his house and preferring to socialize from the comfort of his bedroom. He also bemoans America and states that most Americans are morons, ironically referencing the movie Idiocracy. Jared also complains about women wearing way too much makeup and being preoccupied with phones, tablets, and social media. Also, there's this. I don't know, man. I don't even like a lot of white people anymore, man. Like, fucking, I think I relate most to black people. I'm actually 5% black, and I like big asses. Maybe that's why. I love fucking fried chicken, too. I love me some fried chicken and some big booty. Fried chicken and some motherfucking big booty. Booty in my face. Suffocate me with your big ass booty, because I got a fucking black man weird butt fetish. Yeah. Oh, I'm so bored right now. I can't believe I just said that. It's crazy. Again, on the same day, April 13th, Jared uploaded a video titled, I Hate the Green Power Ranger. The event described in this video would become a pivotal moment in Jared's life that echoed far, far into the future. Due to the significance of this video, I have opted to show you a slightly trimmed down version, as the original is a bit too long to play in full here. I hate Jason David Frank. 
He is the biggest cum guzzler I've ever met in my life. And he's a fucking idiot, dude. I fucking hate his face. I met him at his stupid martial arts studio he has here in Kingwood, Texas called Rising Sun Karate. The guy's such a piece of shit. I went over there to his karate place one time. Like, I set up an appointment just to do a little sparring, you know what I'm saying? Just to get my spar on with someone. And the guy was the biggest piece of shit I ever met in my life, man. His name was Jason Felton. And this scrawny ass, ugly looking motherfucker was such a douchebag to me, man. He was like, I don't know what it was, dude. He was just being really like hostile, like in a weird, manipulative way because I like karate and he thought that I was an idiot because I like karate and shit like that. Like closed minded MMA bullshit. And like, I was like, well, okay, I'll still spar with this guy because he's a nut job and I want to fuck him up because he pisses me off. But, um, uh, so, like, a few days later, man, I just, like, I got in the ring, and I'll admit, I just choked, dude. I, I froze, because it was my first time sparring, and, you know, he was pretty fucking tall. And so he beat my ass, man. He he beat the shit out of me like a fucking redheaded stepchild. But it pissed me off so bad, because Jason Frank, this so-called really respectable you know, fucking 10th degree black belt motherfucker. He didn't stop the fight, dude. He watched me get pounded. He watched me take every hit from this stupid ass fucking little college fret boy, man. This fucking retard kid. It was just disgraceful, man. And like, I didn't say anything because I was mainly just like fucking shocked and like weirded out by the whole weird Power Rangers situation but like Jason Frank dude he was like a dick about it he's like you should not be fighting with your level of experience and I was like fuck you man I learned my shit on YouTube <laughs> no I didn't say that but that'd be funny but like fuck man I still knew about stuff I just wanted to apply it to the ring and he just had to be so high and mighty and fucking, he even told me to my face, he's like, I'm a 10th degree black belt, blah, blah, blah. Like he had to brag about it. Like he had to fucking put himself above me just because he's a fucking martial artist. What kind of goddamn bullshit is that? What kind of bullying is that? You think you're better than me, Jason Frank? You think you're fucking better than me, Jason David Frank? Well then fucking talk shit to my face, you little cunt, you little spandex wearing bitch. You're just mad because you haven't had a fucking career break in like 15 years. You fucking washed up piece of shit. God damn. He thinks he's so fucking cool, man. And like, god damn it, dude, that Felton kid was just as bad. And I tried to be, I actually tried to be cool. I was probably too nice about it. I even called that place like fucking few days later. I was like, dude, you know, what the hell happened in there, man? Just talk to me about this shit because I'm a fucking, you know... I don't think it was right. And he had to get all fucking high and mighty. And he had to say about how my voice was cracking over the phone. And how I sound nervous and shit. Well, yeah, I was intimidated by you, Felton. Because you're a fucking bully. You reminded me of when I was in fucking um, elementary school. Getting bullied by kids. So thanks for those memories, dude. Thanks, man. And so, yeah, fucking, I was scared. I'm not afraid to admit it, though. Because it takes a real fucking man to admit he's scared. That's what takes a real fucking warrior not just some egotistical cunt like jason frank who says i'm invincible blah 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 fuck you dude and you know what's funny is dude the, <laughs> the original red ranger hates you jason frank how does that make you feel yeah fucking um fuck what's his goddamn name austin st james i think is his name dude austin st james fucking hates david frank dude he knows he's a douchebag and he could tell that Jason Frank was a douchebag from the beginning when he worked on him on stage with the Power Rangers, man. <laughs> you must really be an asshole if a fucking Power Ranger hates you. That's all I gotta say. And all I gotta say, Jason David Frank, I would love nothing more than to beat you upside your stupid egotistical head, you greasy ass fucking Guido. I would love nothing more to just shove your little stupid samurai flute up your asshole and play a nice little melody for you, you motherfucking cunt.
what the hell? You're a disgrace. You're a disgrace to fucking martial artists everywhere. And not only that, is you are a fucking disgrace to Hollywood, you fucking piece of shit, you jaded motherfucker. Dude, I welcome you. I welcome you to fucking t have a, you know, have a fucking fight with me rather than sicking your little, your little dogs on me. Fucking fight me. I don't care if I lose. I just want a piece of you, man. I just want to fucking hurt you a little bit. As long as I get a little bit, I'll be happy. As long as I can stand up to your sorry, pathetic ass. I don't give a shit. Because you know what, man? You are so goddamn lucky. You were so goddamn lucky. I did not call the cops on you when that happened because I happened to hate the police. So you're fucking lucky because I could have gotten you arrested. You and stupid ass motherfucking Jason Felton arrested for fucking abusing me. A guest. Someone who is willing to pay you that ridiculous $130 a month. You motherfucking greedy ass piece of shit. Who the fuck asks that much money just to train someone in martial arts? That's a disgrace to martial arts everywhere. My God. Jason David Frank, people. Remember that name. And if you see him at a Comic Con or something, tell him he's an asshole. He deserves to hear it. Tell him he's a fucking jaded piece of shit. Tell him that it was, you know, he's a low life. And you know, what pisses me off even more is he's got this clothing line called Jesus Didn't Tap. Like he's some self righteous Christian. Fuck that. You're not a Christian in my eyes, dude. You're just, you're like one of those fucking stupid atheists to me, man. You don't deserve to have God's love. You do not deserve to have the title Christian. You are not a Christian because you do not abide by the fucking commandments. You do not show respect to your fellow man. You do not have any kind of sympathy in your heart. You do not have anything good and pure inside you, Jason David Frank. You are a disease and I fucking hate you. I hate you. I fucking hate you so goddamn bad. And you have no idea how much anguish I have built up inside of me in the past year from what's happened. You have no idea. God damn. So anyways, do not support Jason David Frank with anything, any of his stupid fucking products or any of his movies or anything he does. He's a complete wreck. Do not respect this man. Do not see him at any sort of event. He's garbage, man. Fucking garbage. That's all I gotta say, man. I'm fucking out of here. Peace. The description of the video reads, Jason David Frank is the shittiest human alive. I hope he gets his nuts pecked off by a penguin. For those unaware, Jason David Frank was an actor and martial artist who played the green Power Ranger Tommy in the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers TV show. Jared's grudge against JDF would continue on for years to come, as he was, in his own mind, disrespected and betrayed by his childhood hero. This was a grudge that only served to worsen over time and contribute to Jared's bitterness and seething hatred. Many have also speculated, and I want to stress speculated, that this was the first time in Jared's life that he had actually gotten his ass beat. To make matters worse in Jared's eyes, it was his childhood hero watching over and condoning the actions. I actually got into contact with two people who were involved with this incident. I initially got in contact with Jason Felton, the man who is mentioned in the video, but he's moved on to other things in life and preferred not to speak on it, although we did have a very interesting and entertaining conversation in private. Jason, however, was very interested in the documentary and pointed me towards Calvin, who remembered the incident very well. Calvin was actually the one who had filmed this incident as it happened, but unfortunately the video has been lost to time as this happened almost 15 years ago. Calvin and I had a discussion, and he allowed me to share a decent amount of our discussion here today. Hey Calvin, just got done speaking with Jason. I believe he's already spoke to you regarding some ancient history? Yes sir. That dude is like a turd that won't flush. I'm familiar with the day he made poor decisions that apparently ruined his life. Are you able to confirm some things for me? Like for example, I'm trying to find out the exact year that incident occurred. I'm going to put that around 2009 or 2010. I have nothing that would tie it to a date, but that's back when I was training daily at RSKA. Okay, that makes sense. Jason figured it was 2011, but I suspected it may have been earlier. Now, I've heard tell that a video existed of the incident. I'm guessing it was lost to time? I can dig really deep in some old email addresses and see if I can find the video. 
It was taken on a 2010-era phone and looks like someone recorded it on a calculator. But it's clear who's the hammer and who's the nail. Jay beat the absolute shit out of this goof, but made sure not to really hurt him. Just leg and body kicks, while Jared ran around the cage in a circle, yipping like a dog whose ass was on fire and his head was catching. It was a lesson in manners and self-awareness for sure, but every one of us had taken a worse beating than Jason gave that day. Except maybe the suplex. I know that shit hurt. For all his vitriol towards Jason, he got lucky. I'd have really hurt him just for the meanness of it. Kiyoshi, Jason Frank, may have killed the poor fool. I was friends with Kiyoshi, and even I kept hands high and chin down when I had to spar him. He was a very intense dude and wouldn't have suffered this pathetic nutsack's foolishness at all. He was fucked in the head that day. I don't know if his family bred too close or if he played too many contact sports without a mouthpiece, but... He was pants on head stupid when he walked in. Walked stupid, talked stupid, looked stupid. Just fucking afflicted. I know it's gotten worse over time, but I don't pay attention to him. I haven't even thought about him since the time I reminded him of the facts on YouTube. One, we are still around and you can come get some more anytime you want it. Two, you got absolutely destroyed because you can't fight at all, but showed up demanding to fight the best when our worst would have handled you. Three. I have the video of you getting trashed and whimpering like a girl every time you got hit before you got slammed into a worthless heap of failure. 4. I also heard your sad voicemail straight up crying about the beating you asked for. If only you knew how many times we played it back to laugh to tears about, you didn't even offer me a mouthpiece. You seriously came to an MMA gym and expected a mouthpiece to be provided? 5. As soon as Felton found this video and asked if I remember you, I immediately started laughing. It takes a lot of work to be so pitiful that you're still funny almost a decade later, but you did it. That voicemail was pitiful, man. The first two things you heard were him sniffling and shit. It was something like, Uh, hello, I'm calling because I came in yesterday for training and I do not appreciate how I was treated. More sniffling. I came in in good faith. Deadass crying now. And wanted to learn and share techniques. I thought me and Jason were sparring. And he took advantage and beat the shit out of me. Not completely wrong, but he asked for exactly that. And to make matters worse, I wasn't even given a mouthpiece. Now he's crying hard and trying to tell the rest of the story. But it's drowned out by our laughter at his sorry ass. I thought we were going to stroke out then and there. I sparred some hard hitters in that building, but I never had a headache like I got from laughing at that idiot. He finished with a plea to speak to management, which was JDF whom he only showed up to hopefully meet and possibly fellate in the first place. We razzed him a bit but kept it pretty chill because it was JDF's business and we didn't want to tarnish it. The way the news likes to interview afflicted people, he could have been mainstream if he knew who to call. Holy shit, <laughs> this is gold. Trust me, nobody is willing to go to bat for Jared now. Maybe his parents, but even that tide may turn soon. Without going into the dark details, he's hit rock bottom in terms of both stupidity and degenerate behavior. Let's just say that it's bad enough that this documentary is being made now. I gotta ask though, did he smell like shit? Not that I recall, but I assume he does now. Probably not bathing much? You got it. He's a filthy hermit at this point. I can't even begin to describe how bad it is. Was he always that bad? It's hard to believe that getting his ass beat once was that traumatic. Well, he claims that it was a pivotal moment in his life. If he could pivot, he may have avoided a punch. But no. He ate all of them. So I've heard the RSK location this happened and no longer exists? Correct. It closed down and we moved on around 2013. Jared would go on to upload a further 10 videos on April 13th for a total of 14 videos in one day, with a couple duplicates in there. Titles include Music Today is Shit, Stop Being Pussies Kirstians, Capitalism is Bullshit, Movies Today Suck, Video Games Today Suck, as well as a video simply titled Alex Jones, which was duplicated, as we mentioned before, and uploaded under the title of Drugs. Are they really that bad? We also got Random Video 1, Random Video 2, and finally I Hate Hipsters. These were all published in such a short amount of time that... As I went through and considered doing commentary over them, I realized it was much more appropriate to edit them down into one much shorter stream-of-consciousness type rant. 
This gives us an idea of what it's like in Jared's mind back in 2013, as this was one of his earliest examples of just shitting content all over the internet. So here we go. Most music these days really sucks. What the fuck happened? Maybe people should start doing more psychedelic drugs and shit, since that's what people in the 70s did. I bet that sounded a lot better, maybe like Jimi Hendrix and Led Zeppelin. People do more drugs, that's what we need. Like fucking mushrooms, LSD, and marijuana. I think that would really help music industry. I'm being serious here, dude. Fuck. I hate the bullshit. And you know what else I hate? <sighs> fucking, um... I don't know, man. Fucking metal. I hate most heavy metal. What is all this death metal bullshit? Blah, 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 blah. You sound like a fucking constipated fucking character on Lord of the Rings, man. You're stupid. You sound like a little bitch. I bet you never even read the Bible in your life, you retarded fuck. Why don't you go ahead and get the fuck out of my goddamn country, dude? I'm actually playing with my penis as I talk to you guys, which is funny, because no one would even suspect that in the slightest. But I'm just like, you know how you can like suck your penis inside out and like play with, with the foreskin, even if you're circumcised? I'm doing that and I'm making like a snap noise. Like, Can you hear that? Hold on. <laughs> Anyways. And I hate big vagina. I don't give a fuck if you maybe have some muscle on you. That's probably just because you're insecure. No one who does, like, fucking guitar solos anymore. It pisses me off, man. Whatever happened to fucking Van Halen, like... I had some queer ass at Guitar Center, which is the most god-awful place in the world, by the way. He told me I must not like playing guitar because I couldn't find a sound that was right for me. He was a piece of shit. He was a goddamn n***er, okay? He was a fucking n***er, and I'll say it. He wasn't, look, not all black people are fucking n***ers, but he was a goddamn n***er, and I'm not ashamed to use that fucking word, so fuck you if you don't like it, all right? I don't give a shit. Now talk shit to me, fucking idiots. I don't care. But, uh... What else? Testicles of a rhinoceros. Oh, shit. So, I really don't like most Christians, even though I am one, which may seem like a contradiction. Just like my weird pointy nipple, if you can see that. I know you want to give it a squeeze, bitches. Oh, yeah. A lot of Christians are pussies. They won't even fucking stand up for their beliefs and get mad like I do. They don't have that fire in them, man. And, like, a lot of Christians don't even know the fucking Bible like I do. We don't understand it on a high philosoph philosophical... Philosophical... How do you say philosophical? Philosophical... Philosophical... You know what I mean, dudes. Anyways, I don't think they understand God as a force rather than God as a dude in the fucking sky. And if they did, they'd finally be able to counter all this stupid atheists that keep saying, Blah, 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 your God comes from the sky. He's a giant man. <laughs> You're fucking idiots, atheists, for saying that because a lot of Christians don't believe that. And guess what, atheists? A lot of Christians are scientists. I bet that really pisses you off, too. To know that one in three scientists are open to the idea of a higher being, of a deity. So fuck on that, man. It's like they're not even trying to have a logical debate. It's like they're just more like having like a uh, philosophical debate. You know what I mean? It's stupid. It's like... I don't even think there is such a thing as like an atheist trying to have a logical debate about things. Because they should know that there is logic in God as a force. A lot of atheists are just like 16 year olds, man. They're fucking pimply faced little 16 year old kids. Fucking live on YouTube.
And just, like, the way we judge other people, we need to stop doing that, too. Like, especially with other Christians. If a Christian wants to have some fucking tattoos and piercings, just let them. I mean, where in the fucking Bible does it say you can't do that? When did Jesus say you can't do that anyways? Like, you're not really hurting yourself by doing that. And, like... And, like, a lot of Christians don't even know the fucking Bible like I do. I don't know, and judging other people too, I guess, non-Christians. I mean, that's not cool either, but... I think a lot of us Christians are what make people turn to atheism and agnosticism. Is because, you know, the way we treat them sometimes, which is bullshit, I'll admit, on my behalf, on our behalf. It is bullshit sometimes. You know, you gotta fucking respect other people. You're fucking idiots, atheists. I think atheists are pieces of shit. To me, God is an eternal force, okay? He exists through love and through other, you know, good emotions. He exists through art. Through fucking, you know, things of expression. He exists through goodness, through love, mainly. And, you know, through charity. Um, and so, without God there is Satan and Satan stands for the things exactly opposite you know the best description actually is what was made by George Lucas in Star Wars um, the force the force to me is one of the greatest explanations of God and I'm sure George Lucas is probably some fucking atheist piece of shit since all of his followers are but like I just find this so incredibly ironic because that to me is the greatest description of God is the force, this feeling in you, this, you know, this fucking, uh, energy inside you, like chi. If you don't know what chi is, chi is what the Buddhists and, you know, ancient Chinese, as well as modern day Chinese believe is like an energy inside you. So don't, don't believe that God is just a man in the sky, because I will say, you know, atheists are right on that, okay? As much as I hate to agree with them, that we are stupid for saying that. Because God is a force. He's not a man in the sky. And I think some people, some Christians actually believe that. Like, I believe in the Big Bang Theory. I just believe it was God that created the Big Bang Theory, okay? God is an eternal force. Nothing had to create God because he's eternal. Does that make sense? I mean... <laughs> I don't know if you guys have ever tried this, but it's like impossible to get high off a magic marker. It sucks. Dry erase markers suck. I really don't like politics. I'm actually drawing on my desk with a crayon right now. But, um... Fuck, man. I just think politics are so stupid, man. Like, fuck, since the beginning of time... With, like, Nero the Emperor. People still don't get it that, like, power is the biggest fo biggest form of, corrupt of corrupting there is. I don't know, man. It's like, humanity's been around for, what, like, 8,000, 9,000 years? But we're still so primitive, dude. A really good-hearted person would not involve themselves in politics whatsoever. They would just stay clear of it. Because it's all just a stupid fucking game. Of trying to, you know, of money loitering and like fucking politics just re they remind me of all the stupid cliques in high school we had to deal with, like the jocks and the skaters. Look, if you don't know a lot about politics, all you need to know is that it's bullshit. Don't try to learn all the different little, you know, facets of it. You just waste your time, man. It's bullshit. It's just all a bunch of bullshit. People. <laughs> have to do bullshit jobs all day like work at Burger King or some stupid office how dehumanizing is that to have fucking work like that capitalism is bullshit man it's just stupid you have to work to survive let alone doing something really stupid and having to kiss ass to fucking idiots having to kiss ass man when I worked at Jack in the Box I had to sell my soul to those people I had to fucking kiss ass to the most pathetic losers you can imagine People who like to just take out their anger on other people because they know how pathetic they are. How shitty their own lives are, dude. It's sad. People weren't meant to fucking serve other people, okay? 
I'm going to say that again. People weren't meant to fucking serve other people. It's degrading. It is degrading. Would you like fries with that? Would you like a blowjob with that? Would you like a fucking rim shot with that? Would you like a fucking blah, blah, blah? Fuck you. Anarchism is the most effective way to live. Even though I think a lot of anarchists are just liberal assholes that can suck my fucking Christian cock. Look at my nipple. Woo. Oh, sorry. I was thinking about a song of, like, unicorns putting their, like, horns in their pussies and, like, fucking uh, gumdrops and, like, people with gumdrop nipples and I could, like, suck them with my tongue going like this. <laughs> And then they would come like lemon lime sprite. But anyways, I don't like most movies these days. They really annoy me. I haven't even been to the movie theater in like two birthdays ago when I saw the Lorax with my mom and dad. That was my birthday party, dude. <laughs> I went to go see a Lorax with my mom and fucking dad on my 26th birthday. On my 25th birthday. And like, wow, man. It was crazy, dude. And I went to Golden Corral afterwards. It's the most magical place you can <laughs> you can ever fucking think of. They've got a chocolate waterfall and like magical BBW. <laughs> like fucking squirt like chocolate out of their asses and like. <laughs> That'd be great if they could like shoot like fucking I don't know chocolate out of their nipples. Like, big fucking BBWs and shit. That'd be great. And, like, if you ate their pussies, like, fucking gummy bears would come out and, like... <laughs> Stupid, man. God, why'd you make me say that, dude? Fucking loser. Anyways... Shit isn't original anymore, man. It's just fucking knockoffs, like... You know it was a fucking great movie though, with Tron Legacy. That was a fucking great movie. It was original. It had a unique fucking plot to it. Like, I mean, this, the graphics were fucking amazing. I know I'm not using the right term, but it was just fucking amazing. And, like that one bitch on there was fucking hot, dude. I wanna like, I wanna like put one of those like uh, those things for the motorcycles, you know, that you gotta like press the button. I want to stick one of those on her vagina and then like press the button <laughs> so it turns into a motorcycle <laughs> and be on her vagina. And I just like ride around on it, it'd be great. It's just one of my many fantasies I have, but uh. <laughs> um, it's just like fucking adults bore me. I wish I was a kid again, man. Adults don't know how to be funny, they're just annoying. And then that makes me look like a pedophile. Because I fucking watch Nickelodeon and like <laughs> Adventure Time and Regular Show. Regular Show is the best cartoon in the fucking world. If you've never seen that, it's great. Like 90% of it is just stuff uh, like from the, the 80s and like, you know, stuff that is... Uh, that is, you know, symbolic to that time. It's fucking amazing. I love that show. It's like the most ridiculous things happen. It's great. I love that fucking show. J.G. Quinto, you're like hot, and if I was gay, I'd probably want to bone you. But, uh, I don't know, man. I just, I don't think it's it's really that complex as to why movies suck. Like, some people would be like, oh, there's not enough good directors. There's not enough stage designers. There's not enough, you know... Uh, it's just, there isn't enough fucking creative thinking, man. I mean, what happened to movies like The Matrix? What happened to movies like fucking Back to the Future at E.T.? You know what I mean? I mean, fuck. Now it's just boring. I don't know, man. Back, like, in the, like, the mid-90s, when I was growing up, things were just fucking cooler. I, mean, I don't know. I sound like a jaded old man. Um, sucks and fucks and fucks and sucks. As angry video game nerd will put it, uh, my nose is itching, dude. My nose has crabs. 
the boogers are the crabs. And like, some girl fucked me. Some transsexual woman fucked me at the nostril. So it's like itchy and shit. But, uh. I don't know, man. Fucking suck my cock, Hollywood. Suck my fucking Christian cock. That's all I gotta say, YouTube. So, uh. So, I said I was going to make a, a video on video games, so I guess I'll do that now since I'm fucking bored as shit. And I made like nine videos today because that's how pathetic my life is, man. I was just bored. And I was finally motivated to fucking do something with YouTube because I have had the shittiest computer for the longest time, dude. I had a Mac OS X. If you remember that big bulky thing. Here, let me see if I can get a picture of it for you. You see that fucking computer in the background? That's what I had to fucking use for like the past eight years until my fucking parents finally decided to fucking buy something new. Now I've got a Toshiba laptop. So fuck yeah, bitches. Anyways, I've been like bitching on all my videos. It's great. I almost sound like a fucking jaded fucking stupid atheist or like a fucking nerd. Some stupid shit like that. I am a kid of the 90s, motherfucker. I'm a fourth generation gamer. I was playing Nintendo since it was fucking new. Since it was a new system. The fucking thing to have. I was playing video games before it became a stupid goddamn trend. Just set by fucking geeks that don't know what sex feels like. Okay? I know what fucking video games mean, motherfucker. And I gotta say, man. The video game industry is not looking so good right now. <laughs> Fuck you and your online game, dude. I'm a fucking console gamer, okay? I fucking, I have a little something called friends, and I like to fucking play video games with them sometimes, dude, it's, it's great, you should try it, you should try it, dude, not just on the computer, okay, so don't be a smart ass in my comment section and say that, fuck you, fuck new video games, and 60 bucks for a video game, like, what the fuck is that, dude, like, if I'm gonna pay you 60 bucks at GameStop, you better give me a fucking blowjob too while you're at it, motherfucker, you ugly ass insecure geek chick that just works at GameStop because you're trying to get money to fucking do god knows why the fucking piece of shit I hate GameStop I fucking hate GameStop and I hate everyone that works there they're a bunch of fucking pieces of shit losers with no life that can suck my cock suck my Christian cock you GameStop working motherfucking asshole fuck you man I hate GameStop and why don't they sell old school games anymore that's some bullshit right there some fucking bullshit, man. I love old school games. Let me tell you something about old school games. Especially you young ones listening to this, okay? We did not rely on graphics. We relied on something called gameplay. And, uh, you might not be familiar with that term. But gameplay means how the game fucking plays. How it works. How fun it is. You know what I'm saying? And shit like that. And so... Wouldn't that be cool if Sega Genesis, uh, the Sega company met a new system and just like remade some old Sega Genesis games like Road Rash or Streets of Rage? That'd be fucking awesome. But like, anyways, um, uh, but anyways, um, fuck. It sucks, dude. And like, I don't know, man. It's fun, dude. It's just fun playing a game where you can just like be free to roam and adventure and shit not like fucking what's that stupid game fucking um oblivion ring or not a the fucking game you know people play that uh i think it is oblivion or something like that where you just free roam fuck that man side scrollers are the shit and by the way Doing acid is not a bad thing. It's a great thing, dude. It'll help open you up to the world. It won't make you stupid, even though I may look like an idiot. It doesn't make you stupid. It actually fucking puts life in you, dude. Not makes you a fucking clone, motherfucker. Actually makes you fucking really see the world for the beauty that it is and shit like that, man. I've never really done a lot of it, but I have that feeling in me. I can get that feeling, you know what I mean? Um... I'm gonna have my opinion about it, and you know, if you don't like it, you can suck my Christian cock, so fuck you, I don't care.
Wow. So like I wanted to make uh, approximately 10 videos today just all in one day see if I could do it and I fucking did it man it's great I made like 10 videos in just one day I don't know if I should be proud of myself but uh, I'm just going to anyways because I didn't have anything else to be proud of today so fuck yeah man go me and so fuck man another topic I want to cover with you guys um, that I feel is of some importance is um, conspiracy theories because I didn't cover a lot on this with other videos and shit I made but um, basically I have been a follower of Alex Jones for close to 10 years now probably longer than most people um, I'm trying to think how I even found out about Alex Jones man god such a long time ago I was probably just like you know BSing on Google typing stuff you know you know what I mean like new shit or whatever and I just ran into him somehow um, he is crazy man but he has a lot of good points dude a lot of fucking good points and I just noticed recently on uh, my Facebook that he is uh, he got man of the year or yeah man of the year from Time Magazine he has a fucking picture on there dude it's crazy man <laughs> He's just so passionate about what he does, man. He <laughs> He's yelling and screaming a lot and shit like that. I mean, he's got passion, dude, and I respect that. As a fucking man and not a little childish boy and fucking coward, I respect that. And um I don't know, man. I uh, I would say I wholeheartedly agree with most of the things that he says, like you know, it seems like the more haters you have, the more you're fucking doing something right and this guy's got plenty of them so I think he's definitely doing something right dude America is in serious trouble like fuck I have no idea what's gonna happen in like the next 10 years but let's just hope it'll be you know for the best and things will get better because things continue on right now dude we're fucked we're seriously fucked I mean with the FEMA prison camps and everything, we'll probably just be like fucking Holocaust Germany again, dude. It might even be that bad. I mean, I'm not saying it will, but it could it could very well be, you know. People continue to be stupid and shit. So, uh, fuck, man. I don't know. <laughs> don't mind me. I was just listening to some rad tunes. Nirvana. Fucking great band, which brings me to another point. I fucking hate hipsters. I fucking hate hipsters. Yeah, hipsters are the most annoying breeds of people you will ever meet in your goddamn life, besides atheists and geeks. And I'll save those two for another topic, but, um, holy shit, I hate hipsters, man. Now, to me, a hipster can be summed into different genres, okay? It's not just one kind of person. It can be. But what I'm trying to imply is that to me a hipster is just someone that doesn't think for themselves and that feels like they only have to follow trends and that anything that isn't a trend is fucking stupid. And that's bullshit, okay? It's fucking bullshit. Like, uh, fucking indie kids, they're usually like the biggest kinds of hipsters, you know. They kind of listen to fucking shitty ass indie music. Listen to this. That was, that was a fart for my anus. I'm glad I was born in like the mid 80s, dude. Because I probably would have killed my fucking self if I was born in like the 1990s, you know what I mean? It's just like, fuck me. And like, I don't know what it is, man, but I just. I don't even relate to a lot of people anymore. It's like the world's becoming a loser infested fucking stink hole. Everyone is just becoming idiotic, and it just sucks. Maybe I don't get out enough, but that's just what it seems like to me, dude. <laughs> it's just fucking bullshit. It's goddamn bullshit. But, um... There's really not much at all I like about hipsters. I'm trying to think of maybe there's just one thing. But I cannot even think of one thing I like about hipsters. I mean, look, like, I do like nerd glasses, okay? I think they're kind of hot on girls and shit, and... Plus, I like old school, like, you know, uh, what's his name, uh, fucking, 
Damn, what's his Frank, uh, Frank Sinatra? I like him, and I know he wore those glasses and shit like that. And um, fuck, I don't know, man. Like, uh, I just like the you know, really old school fashion. You know what I mean? Like from the '60s and shit. Like, and I think they do kind of capture that in some stuff, but not still not that not that great. Their fashion sense pretty sucks for the most part. I fucking hate it. I hate their little scarves and their little fucking what are those stupid little beanies with the beards attached to them. It's like go kill yourself, kid. And that's the stupidest thing I've seen in my goddamn life. <laughs> you fucking retard. Hipsters. What else to say about hipsters? I don't know, man. I mean, they're just they're sheep. They're like atheists and geeks. They only follow each other, man. They're not a. They're not original in anything. They're fucking annoying. They're like. Oh my god, look at this cool $50 shirt I got from fucking so-and-so, and like, from wherever, and like, I'm so cool, even though I could have gone to the thrift store and bought, like, half the store for $50. <laughs> it's fucking stupid, man. Goddamn tools. Fucking hate that shit. What else do hipsters do? I know you guys might need to help me out here, but they just piss me off. Just from what I've seen, they really piss me off, man. Their music sucks. Their taste in movies, I'm sure, sucks, too. Um, they probably like all that fucking gay shit, like the fucking, I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know, dude. I'm too punk rock. I have, I have no idea to know what that shit is that they like, but... I don't know. 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 Fucking magenta. Brick red. Bittersweet. So I'm just gonna make what I like to call a random video, which is me just randomly spouting off the most random shit you've ever heard in your life, because I'm the best at that. So we're just gonna start by saying. Amen. And then after that, I would like to do a follow up, a follow up on an analogy I made about VBWs at Golden Corral. Um, I want to go to Golden Corral, not only <laughs> have a chocolate waterfall, but have like VBWs doing like poses and just having chocolate coming out their nipples and like fucking fudge cakes and brownies coming out of their assholes <laughs> and like not only that but they'll be wearing like leotards and shit and like fucking um i don't know break dancing to, to vanilla ice that'd be hot too and like i just wanted to put jello on their armpits that'd be so sick i told you this is red i'm fucked but you didn't believe me why didn't you believe me and you know the sad thing, kids? I'm not even high right now. I'm just that crazy. Fuck, I swear to God I'm not high, dude. I'm not kidding you. I'm just that stupid. It's amazing. But um, when I was in third grade, I fucking lost the spelling bee, dude. Because I misspelled crayon, crayon, crayon. Because my fucking mother always called it a crown. A crown. Let's draw with some crowns. I want to kill my mother for that. Mother, I will kill you because you made me lose the spelling being the third grade. I will slit your motherfucking throat with a crayon. You motherfucker. And ironically, when I was in like eighth grade, I was a dork and I joined the spelling bee club for God knows why. And I was the first one down. Awesome for me. And it was because of my mom too. So fuck her. She made, she made me fucking <laughs> lose to another word because of her own mispronunciations. The word was icicle fucking icicle and i missed it because she always says i circle like with a fucking a i circle and she would call fudge sickles fudgicles who the fuck says fudgicles goddamn czechoslovakia piece of shit motherfucker goddamn i hate my life my life has never been the same since i lost those spelling bees dude i have a tickling fetish i think it's awesome like i like to watch pornos of people just tickling each other because i'm just that fucked up in the head and it's funny because, like, that's all they fucking do is just, like, 
stripped down to their fucking underwear and tickle each other. It's just magically gay in, in the most, and I say that in the most, like, fucking underrated way. Like, I can't even describe to you. Like, to say it's gay would be an understatement. It's just over the rainbow, man, and I love it. I'm not a queer, but I fucking love it, man. I just like tickle, 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 ooh, tickle, tickle, tickle. Ooh, I want to come rainbows. I want to come rainbows and cup a feel of a panda bear. Cup a feel of a panda bear. I want a cup of feel of a panda bear. I will do it. I'm not really scared. I want a cup of feel of a panda bear. <laughs> Oh yeah, 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 yeah, yeah. So I just wanted to say that because of everyone liked my random video, I'm gonna go ahead and make another one for an encore, even though no one liked my video and no one even looked at it. I just want to feel cool, so I'm going to make another one. Whoa. Whoa, it's crazy mustache vision. It's crazy mustache vision. Oh, yeah. Crazy crown sex. Oh, yeah, I want to have crazy crayon sex. Crazy crayon sex. Oh, baby. Crazy crayon sex. Crazy crayon sex. Oh, yeah. Stick it in my teal blue, baby. Stick it in my teal blue. My red violet nipples. Oh, oh, oh. My red violet nipples. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Red violet, violet, red. Red violet, red, violet, violet, red. Violet, red. Red violet, red, violet. Violet, red. I really want a cop. A monkey's breast. Oh yeah. Copper feel on a monkey's breast. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Copper feel on a monkey's breast. <laughs> Dude, the show ridiculousness. I've seen every fucking episode, man. Every goddamn episode since it aired like two years ago now. And I just gotta say that like fucking that is the coolest show in the world. If you don't like ridiculousness, you need to get the fuck out of my country. Because that's un-American, dude. It's fucking un-American. I don't like that shit. You know what I'm saying? Check out this epically gay journal I have. Oh, shit. Shit, 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 shit. Yeah. I'm making a video. Okay, look. I'm checking on my kitties, you know? Yeah. And I hear some words to begin with F. Fine. You need to stop that. Okay. I got in trouble. Oh, I got in trouble with my mommy. I got in trouble with my mommy. She caught me saying the fucking F word. I got in trouble with my mommy. She caught me saying the fucking F word. <laughs> Shit, that sucks, man. I just got in trouble with my fucking mom. Anyways, um, I guess that's all for random videos today because I just got my shit shut down. But uh, anyways, I'll take it easy now and uh, I'm going to go kill my mother for making me look like a fucking idiot. <laughs> Bye. I think that you can probably see at this point why I opted to show you this much raw Jared content. It really gives us an insight into the person Jared would become, but also the person that he already was. We have him talking about slitting his mother's throat, repeatedly using racial slurs, just all around being insane, and on top of that, saying stuff that is almost completely unparalleled in its stupidity. On the next day, April 14th, 2013, Jared uploaded a few more videos to his channel titled I Hate Labels, Movies That Need to Be Remade, Karate is Effective on the Streets, and we also got a pointless low energy video about the Korean musician Psy. I'm not even going to bother talking about that last one.
In the video, I Hate Labels, Jared expresses a disdain for those who insist on constantly labeling themselves and others. I hate people that divide themselves into labels. Labels are stupid. I mean, aren't we all just fucking human beings? It's like as time gone as time's gone by, people just try to, to divide themselves more and more and more through labels. Stupid fucking labels. And like I get it to an extent, but when you only fucking like subject yourself to one label, I think that's so stupid and closed minded. Rather than label yourself something, you should just say, you know, I'm fucking me. That's all I am, dude. I'm just fucking me. Like, I don't even like leaving myself alive because then I know that I'm fucking putting stupid stereotypes on me that have been created by people who are in those cliques. Like, for instance, if I call myself a skater, there's a lot of skater assholes that are just fucking, you know, judgmental and stuck up. And so I don't even want to be part of that <laughs> label, you know what I mean? Even though I write, I've been riding skateboards for close to 20 years now, I don't even want to fucking call myself a skateboarder. Because there's so much hypocrisy in that scene. I mean, a lot of skaters are just jocks, as I've said in one video. I don't even want to label myself stuff because I don't want to get caught in that fucking, you know what I mean? That... Sucking bullshit, I don't know, man. Like, even like I'm a musician, I don't even like calling myself a musician now because there's so much shit in the music industry. So, I just fucking call myself me. I'm just me, dude. Fucking, I don't even like calling myself a Christian a lot anymore because all the fucking Christian idiots. But to me, Christianity is just more of a way of a life than a religion anyway, so think about that, man. Like, my dad, he's like 61 years old. When he was going to, when he was going to school, there wasn't that many cliques, you know what I mean? There was just like... The surfers, the... I don't know the nerds and like I guess like the jocks that's about it man but now you got all this bullshit man all this fucking bullshit after several more minutes of disjointed rambling we see one of our first instances of what would become a classic Jared excuse for spouting nonsense and lacking articulation I don't know just uh fucking hell man I just woke up I'm so tired. Jared's next video, titled Movies That Need To Be Remade, starts like this. Hello, boys and girls. How's it going? I'm actually masturbating right now, but you just can't see it. It's awesome. I'm masturbating right now. Anyways, top five movies that need to be remade. Um... Number five, Edward Scissorhands. How would you not want to see the more of him? Like, he had an awesome swagger too. He looked like, I don't know, Marilyn Manson meets Wolverine. That's pretty cool. But speaking of Tim Burton, um, I think there should also be another, um, what's it called? 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 Nightmare Before Christmas. Because that's become, like, <laughs> its own genre, almost. It's so popular, man. Nightmare Before Christmas. Make another one, Burton. Actually, they did. Corpse Bride. So, never mind. I guess that's enough for that one. But, um... Okay, number four. Seriously, this is number four now. They need to remake Forrest Gump, man. That was a great movie. Remember Forrest Gump with Tom Hanks? Run, Forrest, run. Run, Forrest, run. It was inspirational. It was, you know, it was, um, it told a lot of different stories, you know what I'm saying? And, like, I just love Tom Hanks. My God, I love Tom Hanks. He's a fucking great actor. Tom Hanks is the shit. I love Tom Hanks. And, like, they should do it to where maybe, like, his son's all grown up, you know what I'm saying? And maybe, like, 
I don't know. He goes on to reference some of his favorite films such as Encino Man and Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Encino Man is a film that would be mentioned many times in the coming years, as Jared describes himself as Brendan Fraser's doppelganger. Jared's next video, titled Karate is Effective on the Streets, introduces a long-held misapprehension of Jared's, the effectiveness of karate in a real fight, or as he would say, a street fight. Okay, man. This is one of the most stupid topics to talk about, but I'm going to talk about it because I guess I'm stupid too. So let's do this. Most UFC fighters are douchebags. I think we can all agree with that. Just like jocks I went to high school with, yes. Great memories of wedgies and ridicule, true to my heart. I also love ninjas and fucking samurai warriors. So don't fucking tell me your bullshit about how ninja fighting isn't effective on the streets, okay? If I want to dress up in a ninja and attack somebody, I'll damn well do it and I will win, bitches. So suck on that. Stupid shit about, oh, karate's not effective on the street. Oh, kung fu's not effective on the street. Bitch, your mother's not effective on the street, motherfucker, because I fucked her ass, motherfucker. Fuck you, bitch. Fucking cunt motherfucking UFC cocksucking hoe who kiss my fucking ass dude I'll practice whatever styles I want man it's got just as many moves just as many fucking defense and offense attacks it's just stupid I fucking hate people like that they try to put something down just because it's more maybe it's more creative and they can't handle that because they're too insecure about themselves you know what I'm saying like spiritually they just want to fight like a stupid fucking caveman. Bullshit. Man, I fucking tell you what, dude. I've been practicing martial arts for a good while now. And I'm not going to fucking say MMA is ineffective because it's not. It's a very effective form of fighting. But so is karate. So is kung fu. So is all that shit. Okay? You block with your wrists, man. You block with your fucking wrists. A point blocking system, okay? That gives you fucking advantages, all right? You can see what's going on when you do that. You can turn your blocks into wrist locks, all right? You can fucking use it as an element of surprise. Once you block this way, you've got momentum for a punch. See what I'm saying? You can't do that in MMA. I mean, fuck that shit, dude. I'm just saying, dude, fucking karate has good shit, too. And like Kung fu and shit like that. I mean, are you seriously gonna knock someone like Bruce Lee and tell me that he wouldn't be able to kick someone's ass on the street? <laughs> I'd laugh at you, man. I'd fucking laugh at you if you said that. And I think most people would, too. I mean, it's just ridiculous, man. That guy was a fucking supreme fighter. He could kick anyone's ass, man. He was crazy. He was a psycho. But, um... A few days later, on April 16th, Jared would upload five back-to-back -back freestyle rap videos. I do it for the H-Town. I do it cause you a clown. I show my haters make them frown. Everything I do, it goes down, down. Every day you know I keep it so real and I keep it so trill. Like fly like dollar bill and I don't know what, what to can say. Cause everyone in the world is gay. All the shit I see in my life Wanna cut it all with a knife Fucking bullshit all in my head Fucking bullshit I wanna make you dead bitch Wanna make you motherfucking dead bitch I'll take your life bitch I'll take your wife bitch Don't give a shit what you think bitch Gonna scratch my motherfucking itch 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 with your fucking blood I'll kill everyone and say it's you Say it's you You smell like <laughs> fucking poo bitch Oh, it's been my head, 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 oh, it's dead, 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 oh, my life, dead in my life, dead with a knife, and I'm dead with a knife, and I'm dead with a knife, and I'm dead with a life, 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 life I live, life that I live, makes me wanna give, give to my haters and give to my kids, everything that I do, it's so gravy, man, I was rich and now I'm so lazy, shit, shit, kings can go quick, 
Kings can go quick and queens can suck my dick, bitch. Sometimes I feel betrayed, just like I'm a slave, just like you gave to another trade, and I gave everything I made to you, like I'm in the zoo in a cage. Don't behave, now you're gonna get smacked one. Don't behave, now you're gonna get jacked one. What is up with all this dumb shit? What is up with all this dumb shit? Hey man, check him out, I'm just a rolling. Just a rolling and I'm rolling and I'm strolling. But everyone's always trying to pull in, pulling and picking and picking and pulling, rolling, pulling and picking and pulling, pulling and rolling. Stop, we go in and hard today. Stop, you know we all gotta stop and play. What? We going in hard today, you know what? We gonna go hard and play, you know. Every day I'm climbing up and seeing all the real shit. Every day I'm climbing up, I'm seeing all the feel shit. Every day I'm climbing up, I'm seeing all the real shit. And it makes me sick, makes me wanna quit, you know. Think I then I wish that I was climbing down. I think that I wish I was climbing down. Maybe I'll just jump and I won't make a sound, man. Cause nobody sees me, man. I'm just a clown, man. Every day I'm walking like I am invisible. Every day I'm walking like you are invisible. Every day I'm walking like he is invisible. But I don't care because I'm invisible. Rockin', 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 rockin'. Rockin', rockin', rockin' my drum beat. Rockin', 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 rockin'. Rockin', rockin', rockin' my drum steep feel the rhythm. Feel the rhythm of this street on my feet, on my cleats, on that funky beat. Check it out, I hit the drum, hit the drum, son, and I get you going from rump a pum pum, rump a pum pum, rump a pum, rump a pum, rump a pum pum. Get the beat of the drum, rump a pum, rump a pum pum, rump pum pum pum, rump pum 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 pum. Rump on the drum, rump pum 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 pum. You know the beat never stops, and the beat always hot. The beat never stops, I see the be beats drop, man. Beat the beat drop, the beat, the beats drop. Baby, make that booty flop, the bop, 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 bop. Make your booty drop. Beats hot, always hot, always hot, too hot to trot. That stream's brown, son, and I'm pound, son, and I'm pound by the pound, the pound. The beats are round, 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 round. Beats, the beats upon my feet, the beats upon my feet. I feel the concrete, what? As well as a video simply titled Bullying which he would kick off with Nicki Minaj's Bees in the Trap. As you people who have seen my videos may know, I cover everything, everything on my videos. I have no shame. I have no censors. I am the most uncensored person on here. In fact, I will probably have my videos removed within a certain amount of time by the New World Order, so, you know, pay attention to me and what I'm telling you. Please take me seriously. Or, if you want to, take me as a joke, but hear what I tell you, because I can assure you, I would not be making these videos if I wasn't positive of myself and my beliefs. America has some of the craziest kids, some of the craziest adolescents and young children. We are out of control. Look at what bullying has done to kids. They end their own fucking lives. They end their own goddamn lives. They become reclusive and so psychologically damaged that they can't even function properly. Who do you blame for this? Who do you blame for bullying? What is the cause for bullying? First of all, know that bullying exists in all facets of life, not just with children and adolescents. But I'm not going to take it any further than that because I want to make this as simple as possible. We have been conditioned as a society to function a certain way. As I've stated before in many of my videos, the media is conditioning us. This is especially effective on the white race. As a young man recently just told me on Facebook though, 
the only way humanity will continue is by learning our own differences from different cultures, different races, different creeds. Because that is the only way we will evolve. But understand that the white people struggle most with bullying and that the white people struggle most with self-confidence and low self-esteem for whatever reason we are the targets for that now understand that people that are bullied usually have some kind of malfunction whatever it may be they are nerdy looking they are autistic which is basically the same thing no offense but um, you know have some kind of defect about them which makes them no less important than another human being I cannot emphasize that enough I am NOT trying to knock people on this site I know I have videos of me being rather vulgar but that's just because anyone would be that way after all they've been through in their life after all they've dealt with after all the bullshit they've been through I have a right to be fucking psychotic and my own psychosis helps me do you understand it helps me endure now the point I'm trying to make here is that people who bully are not necessarily bad people they just do not understand other people that they bully and while it may seem strange it's really just human nature I suppose but the people that go do crazy things like shoot up schools can we really blame them for that can we blame them for reaching their breaking point after the way some people treat them I'm not putting I'm not standing up for them and saying I think shooting up a school is okay because good lord that is terrible innocent children dying there's nothing worse than that there's nothing more tragic than a child dying okay but look look at the psychology of this this young man that shot up Columbine do you think he really would have done that just because he was angry at the world it's because he was constantly constantly bullied the most terrible of all ways how can you blame him for doing what he did when people are so terribly insensitive and cruel how can you blame him I know I sure as hell can't with that said I think that if I struck a nerve or maybe perhaps even moved you with this video maybe you should think twice before you bully someone else because who knows maybe you could be burying your own grave maybe you could be <laughs> making your own demise okay do not underestimate the human species do not underestimate what one is capable of even if they may look like a weak defenseless human being okay not everyone who bullies is a bad person because there are some people who are just shitty irrational human beings that deserve to be bullied and I think even a good population of those who are bullied probably deserve it in some way or fashion perhaps maybe it's because they even choose not to better themselves 
As I said before, we have been conditioned to be weak. The government wants us weak. The New World Order wants us weak, defenseless, unable to resist tyranny. Laugh at me for saying that. Scorn me. I don't care. I just want you to listen to me, okay? The signs are already coming. What happened in Boston? 9-11. Things are getting worse by the minute, and we have to stand together as a nation, as a democracy. You can start by treating your fellow man better. It's always the best place to start. It's not. Listen to me. If you're a person that is bullied, you have the ability to overcome any obstacle in your life. Just because you may see yourself as weaker than another does not mean you are any less important. It does not mean you are incapable of standing up for yourself. Anyone can stand up for themselves. It doesn't matter if you can't bench 300 pounds. It doesn't matter if you're not 7 feet tall. It doesn't matter. It's all in your mind, okay? Mind over matter, people. You can overcome anything. Just believe in yourself. Do not be afraid. Much, many bullies are afraid themselves. Okay, everyone has the ability to be scared. I know I'm an asshole, but I still care. And if you think I am even after watching this, you better check yourself. The next day on April 17th, 2013, Jared would upload two videos. The first one titled Abortion Slash Euthanasia and the second one titled Good and Evil. I wanted to show both videos in their entirety, but I've opted to instead edit them down for the sake of time and pacing. When you look at this, what do you see? I see a broken childhood. Something that is broken into nothingness. Something that can no longer be. I see a broken heart. A broken mind, a broken soul, these are the effects of having an abortion. When a young woman has an abortion, it not only destroys the baby, it destroys her soul devastates them. I am not a woman. I have not had an abortion. But only a fool would say you have to be one to understand what goes on. It is the death of an unborn child. That's right, a child. Not a fetus, but a human being. A human being. How do you define what isn't a human and what is when it looks just like a fucking child, you goddamn ignoramus fool? I am not here to tell a woman what to do. No one should have the authority to tell a woman what to do. Let alone tell anyone what to do. There should be no laws in this land. There should be no laws. Only free will. Let karma decide the rest. I don't give a fuck 
what you think of me for saying this. I don't give a fuck if you think I'm stupid because do you know what? I am not the smartest fucking person in the world and I don't care because I know there's more to life than smarts. What is the point? The point of destroying a human life? Unless, of course, you see human life as something that is not that valuable, that is not that precious, something that is disposable. And for what? Because you can't afford it? Because you can't handle a child? You ignorant fools. You irresponsible teenage whores. How dare you? How dare you say that this child has no value? How dare you say that human humanity is so invaluable? Do you have no consciousness on what you're doing? Do you have no faith? Are you just another godless atheist who does not believe in fate and does not believe in good future and goodwill? This baby you destroyed had a future. It had a fate. God gave this child its own book of what it will fulfill. Its own written book of what it would fulfill. But that book was destroyed by you because of your ignorance. Because of your own stupid choice and we let the doctors do it we let them kill millions of babies a year because we as a society like to take the easy way out we are no better than savages to let our elders die because we no longer wish to care for them because we think they're better off dead because of pride because of convenience that's what it sounds like to me because of convenience we allow the heresy of euthanasia on our elders givers of direction the elderly that is what they should be seen as they deserve a certain kind of respect for they are our teachers our great teachers and we kill them what do you think the future would think of us for that what do you think the past would think of us for that if you think in your arrogant mind that you would be better off dead then you have no positivity running through you you have no hope you are just a hopeless fool and by that i mean you have no faith you have no faith in yourself you have no faith in god you have no faith in anything you are just an ignorant stupid atheist i don't care if you have the title of christian or jew you are a stupid worthless atheist because you have no faith in your god and you are not a humanist because you have no faith in yourself. God forgive us for our spilled blood we put on the children and the elderly. God forgive us for our own stupid choices. And we wonder why abortion clinics get blown up. Well, why do you think they get blown up, you moron? Do you think people just naturally get unaffected by death? 
do you think when a father's son dies in front of him by some stupid thug or henchman he's not gonna feel sad and devastated and want revenge you morons the death is on your hands for the explosions of abortion clinics I have no no guilt for what I just said and if you want to judge me for it I encourage you because I live off of your hate I live off of your goddamn lies you bunch of ignorant fools I want you to understand, looking in my eyes, you don't know me, and yet one could label me a good or a bad person, one of the two. These are the two categories by which humans exist, and humans naturally have the built-in desire to label to not just to label but to distinguish things and for a certain order of things they need order now I would be a fool if I were to say there is no difference between good and evil but there is a difference between real and unreal by that I mean what may look different from the inside is probably different from the outside there are people out there at the world people like Gandhi people like Martin Luther King who are seen as the enemy from the outside but from the inside there is de no denying that they are a good person with love and charity in their hearts all humans naturally have that desire in their hearts we come from a good and just God a God that loves us it is corruption it is trauma and corruption that make hearts go bad you cannot tell me that a person is doomed to forever be a certain way even though it may be the case in many people there have been those throughout history whose blackened hearts have become the most pure of all within every bad deed lies an ill emotion jealousy lies scorn the desire for revenge a great man once said if it was eye for an eye then we'd all be dead because if the policeman were to handcuff and arrest a criminal that means the criminal could have the right to do the same to that policeman there must always be retribution, but at the same time, one must know their limit as a human being. I said before, we all have a consciousness, and our consciousness can sometimes be hurt very badly by our own choices. We have to learn empathy with those who are evil. We have to learn compassion. I am not saying to be passive because I am far from that, but I am saying we must see 
the forest for all the trees. We must see the forest for all the trees and understand evil on a more psychological level. I recently just watched the movie Wreck-It Ralph with my mother. Great movie. And I found it ironic how in their little um, the meeting of the bad people they recite an anthem saying it's not it's uh being bad is not it's good to be bad and bad is well something along those lines but anyway do not be deceived by my masculinity as a male figure do not be deceived by my masculinity I am penetrable I am nothing more than a grown-up child who still has an imagination and the desire to be loved be careful how you treat these grown-up children called men because like children we often have tempers and like children we often do not know how to control ourselves sometimes in the most dangerous of all ways in the most violent of all ways God be with you On April 21st, 2013, Jared would upload three more videos to the Seymour Buns channel, titled School of Cool 1 and School of Cool 2, which were uploaded and titled Out of Order, as well as the final video ever uploaded to the channel, titled How to Be a Playa. Not much burning insight here, but we do have some interesting moments, to say the least. I just wanted to say right now, man, any kind of person can be cool. It just takes... A certain kind of uh, you know a certain kind of respect that's why I hate on a lot of different labels I know it may seem like stereotyping but really it's not because most people and the kinds of labels I speak of are dicks and they're not cool and they're fucking uncool dicks like for instance the geeks I just want to say to all you geeks out there you could make your swag cool. You can make yourself cool. But in order to be that way, you have to learn respect. And you guys don't have it, man. You don't have that swagger that other kinds of people have. Part of being cool is just having the attitude, okay? I want to teach school you guys on cool. This is school of cool right here, 101. Now, it's all about attitude, okay? 80% of being cool is just knowing in yourself that you're cool you know what i mean it's not just um you know having some sort of talent or like fucking you know dressing cool it's just the attitude if you have the attitude you're fucking already there okay now what is attitude attitude is just self-confidence man it's knowing being true to yourself knowing that you are cool and if you can't do that, well, then you're probably not fucking cool because you're probably, your brain's probably telling you this ain't going to fucking work because you got some things going on, man. And you need to make changes in yourself before you can get to that level. Anyone can get to that level. It doesn't matter who you are, you know, what you do, what you look like, any of that shit. Anyone can fucking be cool. And if you want to hate on that, then you're a piece of shit. So go ahead and fucking hate on it, dude. I don't give a fuck. As I said before, I welcome all haters. I love hate. It makes me feel fucking alive and it makes me feel fucking, you know, it makes me feel powerful, dude. So, um, anyways, man, but, uh, do your thing and don't fucking judge people, okay? You know, if you got a problem, just keep it to yourself. 
Just keep it to your damn self. Ignorance may be bliss, but it ain't cool. So if you're like a geek or one of those fucking people, you know, you need to learn more about the kinds of people you hate on. Just because they don't fucking sound like you and talk like you doesn't mean they're lame. Just because they don't fucking have a degree or some stupid bullshit like that does not mean you have the right to fucking hate on them. And what is this shit? I go online and people hate on me because of my spelling. Just because of my flavor. Because of the way I like to fucking type. What kind of ignorant ass bullshit is that? What kind of fucking hateful bullshit is that? I mean that to me is just prejudice. And I think if you do something like that, you are fucking racist, man. I don't even like going on the internet that much, man. I just rather talk to a person in real life anyways, but I just fucking, you know, just a pastime. I, I still get on YouTube. I still get on my fucking Facebook. Even though all my friends grew up to be assholes, I still get on Facebook. <laughs> oh, fuck. God damn, dude. I think I got about maybe three friends on there now. <laughs> I ain't even tripping, man. I got three friends on Facebook, yo. Loser props, you know what I'm saying? No, nah, I don't give a fuck. Because, like, what's up with these bullshit people who have, like, 3,000, 2,000 friends, but only talk to, like, three of them in real life, man? That's some fake-ass shit. <laughs> That's some stupid-ass bullshit. I'm like, man. I don't even know, dude. Fuck. But, uh... But, uh... Just bear with me here, man. Who gives a fuck if you're different? Who gives a goddamn fuck? God made you to be different, dude. Why can't you fucking accept that? Oh, yeah, it's because you don't fucking believe in God. And that's why you're insecure about yourself, man. You choose. Oh, fine. I'll turn this into a fucking religious debate like I did in all my other videos. I don't give a fuck. You choose to be insecure because you don't have the fucking love of the Heavenly Father, Jesus Christ. You don't have his love, so you cannot understand purity in itself. You cannot understand coolness. Because Jesus Christ was fucking cool. He didn't judge people, man. He was straight up fucking gangster. He did all his shit real. He was like... Like I said earlier, man, he ate dinner with prostitutes and fucking tax collectors, the most hated all people, and he respected their asses. And that's what you need to do, too. You need to respect people. Fucking respect them, even if they are hated by other people, man. Why do you want to be like all your other dumb friends and hate on people just because they're doing it? Why do you want to be a goddamn clone? Why, why can't you be fucking original, dude? I mean, come on, man. Keep it real with that shit. Some stupid ass bullshit. You know, if you had to love the Father, you would know you would have more of that joy in your heart where you naturally want to love other kinds of people. That's what I wanted to say. That's what I wanted to fucking say. But you don't have that fucking joy in your heart. So you don't have love for other people. You only have love for fucking miserable people like yourself because you just relate to them. You know what I'm saying? You relate to their negativity and you live off of that, man. Like fucking angry video game nerd. You relate to him because he's a dickwad. You relate to fucking amazing atheist because he's a dickwad. You don't have no love. They don't have no love in their hearts. I mean, look at them, man. They're fucking miserable. Even amazing atheists have one of his videos. He's not happy. You can't fucking frown your face on. You draw a fucking frown your face on. Why do you want to look at someone who's miserable like that, man? Why do you want to fucking do that? It's bullshit. Anyways, y'all, I don't want to drown on no more. So, you know, just do what you do. If you want to be a hater, that's, that's fine. You know, there's always gonna be haters in the world. You're just you know, you're only doing you ain't gonna change me, haters. Go ahead and try all you want, but you're not gonna fucking change me, dude. That's all I really gotta say, man. I'm happy with the person that I am. I'm not insecure. I'm fucking happy with who I am, dude. That's real talk. You can't change that shit. I mean, you can piss me off. I mean, you guys are great that you piss me off, but you're not gonna fucking change me. So don't think that's gonna fucking happen, dude. Peace. I know I said I wanted to shut up about the school of cool, but I think I just need to make one more video because I didn't really go into that much detail. So fuck, man. Humans. Who gives a shit, man? Who gives a shit? Dude, I am so different, man. I'm so different, it's just retarded. Like, I am retarded. That's how different I am, man. I don't give a fuck. Because you know what? Retarded people can cop a feel on a girl and not get in trouble. <laughs> That's what's up, man. That's what's fucking up. And I saw that in high school, too. I witnessed it, man. This tard, he just took a big old handful of this girl's titty. And she just, she didn't do nothing, man. Because she, <laughs> she knew... She's like, oh man, he's probably never going to get pussy in his life, so he can go ahead and cop a feel, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so anyways, that's just one advantage of being a tard. Um, man, like, white people, what happened to us, man? Like, we're not as cool as we used to be. Now we got fucking emo and Andy and all this other white bread shit. It's like, man, back in the 80s, things were, things were so much cooler with the white people. Fucking white people, man. We had fucking Billy Idol and like Depeche Mode and all this cool ass fucking 80s cats and shit and like fucking. I don't know, man. It was just the attitude, too, man. Like with the act, the white actors. They just had the attitude, man. It was fucking cool as shit. And now look what we have, like fucking. I can't even, I can't name these people. Whenever I go on here and try to name people, I just can't do it because I'm not involved with it. But like, 
What's that one queer? I just, this is bothering me now. That's that one fucking queer. Who thinks he's funny? He was on Step Brothers. Uh, fucking hell. Goddamn shit. I suck at names. But, uh, people these days, they just live off, like, snark and cynicism. Like, oh, I'm so snarky and cool. Look, I'm so sarcastic. <laughs> Stupid, man. You make me sick with your shit. You think you're, you know, you're too cool to fucking, to like, I don't know, to have anything cool, fucking, I don't even know, I can't put it into words, man, it just, it just pisses me off that much where I can't even fucking put it into words, but, uh, I think swag, there's no limits to swag, and like, the more different you are, in my opinion, the more cool you are. I mean, who wants to be like everybody else, dude? It's stupid. It's just retarded. White people. I know we're not the only uncool people in these days. I'm not trying to be racist, but I'm just saying. Uh, let me resituate myself here. I know that's just happened a lot with white people, man. If you feel like, you know, when you're hanging out with your friends and shit, and you're just like, you feel like you're not even who you want to be, and you need to, st you know, take some steps on getting there, man, on where you want to be. Like, even if that means ditching your friends, dude. I know that sounds shallow, but I'm telling you guys, this is straight up real talk here. The people you hang out with have a huge effect on how your mood is going to be, on how you're going to feel. All right, if you're hanging out with a bunch of lame ass cats, you know what I'm saying? They're just going to, they're going to put a negative effect on you, man. And, you know, they can really change you, too. They can change you. You know, and you may think you're cool hanging out with them and being like them, but deep inside, I'm sure you're probably shaking your head at yourself, man. So why do you want to live like that, dude? Like, questioning yourself like that. Your subconsciousness eating at you, man. Like, But, uh... I don't know, man. Creativity is key. And, uh... Fuck, dude. Just be you, man. Because a lot of people obviously aren't. If you look at the world and all these clones, all these boring ass people, it's fuck, man. And I blame, I blame the government too for this shit. I really do. When you're forced to work at an office all day, <laughs> that'll take the coolness right out of you, man. Just. It'll suck the life out of you, man. Working at an office all day. Being a bitch for some fucking child molesting piece of garbage. We call this foreshadowing. <laughs> Advice. From a player, man. Someone who's been around town a little bit, been with a lot of ladies, do not be deterred from talking to a girl if she's got a boyfriend, man. That doesn't mean shit. Talk to her on Facebook, dude. I mean, flirt with her a little bit, you know what I'm saying? You can still get in those panties, dude. A lot of girls aren't even happy with their motherfucking boyfriends, dude. You know what I'm saying? It's not cheating if she wants to if she wants to hit it, you know what I mean? But uh Actually, it is cheating. <laughs> but you know what? I don't qualify that as a bad thing, man. Especially when that cheating can turn into a relationship, you know what I'm saying? So like uh Boys, you know, I, I know it's hard to find a good girl out there. Fucking, it's even find a good, uh, find a hard good pussy out there. Because I'll tell you what, man. Groceries and house payments aren't the only hard thing to come by with the economy these days. Pussy is hard to come by too with the economy these days as well. We are low on pussy, fellas, and you know that's true. <laughs> We got a pussy fucking shortage. And so you gotta get it any way you live it, man. So that's what I'm saying to you fellas is don't 
you know, be uh, don't stop yourself from talking to a girl just because she's got a fucking boyfriend. Just be talk to her, man. Be casual at first. Just, you know, talk to her like a friend. Compliment her, man. Compliments get you real far. Ooh, damn, girl, you look so sexy in that picture. You know what I'm saying? If, if you didn't have a boyfriend, mm, I'd hit that. You know what I'm saying? Just kind of step into it. And just, uh, I don't know, man. Just do your thing from there. You know what I'm saying? You might get, you know, you might get rejected. You might not. But, uh, just don't be afraid, man. Don't be afraid because most of the time you probably get pussy out of it. I'm serious. I'm dead fucking serious. Most of the time you probably will get pussy by cheating like that. You know what I'm saying? Just, you gotta snatch what's yours, man. Like I said, dude, if, you know, if they, they wouldn't be cheating on you if they, if they weren't, if they were, uh, if they weren't happy with their boyfriend, they wouldn't be cheating on you. A lot of times even married couples aren't happy, you know what I'm saying? You can do the dirty on married too, man. Just gotta be more careful that way. <laughs> you gotta be more careful that way, player. Because you get caught cheating on a married a woman, you know what I'm saying? That could put your life at risk. You're no longer dealing with boyfriend girlfriend material. But uh there's a lot of unhappy married girls out there, like I was saying, dude. So they'll spread their legs, man. They will. They may say I'm happily married, but a lot of times, man, that just ain't true, dude. That ain't true. Tickling. <laughs> Tickling can lead to lots of different things, man. Tickling is a very great tool. Never underestimate the power of the tickle. And, um, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, fuck, man, I guess that's about it. Um, for some reason I just don't want to go though. <laughs> I guess that's about it, man. I can't think of nothing else. So y'all be good and, um, if the boyfriend gets suspicious, just say, you know, <laughs> just tell him you're gay or tell him that like, you know, you're just playing. You aren't, you aren't need nothing. You know what I'm saying? Don't be afraid of the fucking boyfriend. Because a lot of times he's probably a pussy anyways. Because men don't know how to be real no more. And that's what's good, man. So I'm out here, baby. Southside for life, bitches. UGK, man. After only about five weeks of posting videos, Jared appeared to give up on the channel, which was likely due to a lack of engagement on his videos. To this day, many of the videos on the channel have no comments, and most of the comments that are present came after the 2019 meltdown. These comments are also mostly clustered under a few specific videos. It's rumored that Jared made another channel shortly after abandoning Seymour Buns, but this supposed channel was uh, likely deleted for terms of service violations. Once again, this is a rumor and is not 100% confirmed. As far as we know from the available information, Jared would disappear from YouTube publicly at this point and wouldn't reappear until years later.
Thank you.